game today was Holland against Australia. Uh, I thought the referee had a very, very poor game. He awarded a, a handball against uh, Australia where the ball actually touched the hand rather than the hand moving towards the ball, and that's what the law says. Um, he then, later on, at least he was consistent, did award a penalty to Australia, whereby a similar situation, the ball going towards the hand and not the hand towards the ball. There was a goal disallowed to Australia, uh, which I thought was legitimate. The, the Dutch player knew he wasn't going to be able to tackle the um, Australian player and went down deliberately. Very, very poor uh, referee today from Algeria. Um, he'll have to improve his performance if he wants to stay at this World Cup. The game tonight was uh, the World Champions against Chile. World Champions being Spain, of course. Refereed by USA referee uh, Mark Geiger, whom I thought had a, had a very good game. Just one little issue at the beginning. Last night, the Iranian official, fourth official, um, refused to allow the Belgian manager to walk on the touchline because he was wearing a sh white shirt, as were, the, uh, as were the Algerian team. Tonight, the Chilean uh, manager was wearing the same colour as his own team, but was allowed to stay on the touchline. Uh, I thought the ref had a very good game. He kept the things close, didn't take, take too much nonsense. A um, couple of very good um, advantages he played. And overall, I thought for a young man uh, in his first World Cup, had a very, very good game. The game of the day was between Cameroon and um, Croatia. Just two major incidents, one which the referee got and the other completely missed. The first one was Alexander Song. Uh, just absolutely lost his head and hit out at a Croatian player right under the referee's nose, got a red card and deserved it. Right towards the end then of the game, the referee um, uh, missed two two Cameroon players actually fighting, headbutting each other, and he missed it completely. So because of that, I marked him down in my estimation. Uh, otherwise, he had a good game, but crucial decision that he missed. Thank you for watching my videos on kickshot.org. While you're on the site, uh, check out the. There's a fantastic game there called Kickshot Board Games. It's very, very educational. It explains how to do bicycle kicks and free kicks, and even explains some of the laws of the game. So it's very, very entertaining, particularly for family time and for children. So check it out. It's uh, it's the board game on Kickshot.org.